Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake. I'm your host, Callan Hale. My friends of horror, my horror aficionados, my lovers of the macabre, we are picking up right where we left off. If you are enjoying this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and also share with your friends on social media. Let me know. We're doing a giveaway at 200 subs. Once I hit 180, I will be revealing the print for that giveaway. Excuse me. So, sit back and grab your favorite beverage. Turn out those lights while you grab your favorite snack. Close those blinds while you grab your headphones. And let's get into the action, shall we? And it, a nice little safe spot. Got our gun back. Kicked on that generator right at the right time. Now we're trying to train depot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi there, friend. Let's reload. I hope you are all doing well this terrifying Thursday. I'm actually recording this on Tuesday. On very little sleep, so the spook factor for me is gonna be even greater. And I am almost out of ammo. So, uh, let's swap over to the frag. Nope, we're swapping over to the flare if we need it. At the end of every episode, we will be reading the manuscripts that we find, hoping to find one of those other survival boxes. I got one flare, one bullet, and one frag grenade. There's a good possibility we're going to die. Just, you know, throwing that out there. Am I going away from where I'm supposed to be going? I'm not quite sure. We are learning more about the mystery, though. And I, I find that very cool. Ooh. And, you know, still running from this weird FBI guy who just opens up fire randomly on civilians. Radio Tower. I feel like this might be like a dirt bike road more than a uh, take car up this road. What's that? Right, flare, flare, manuscript page. Hmm. 
Mm. I think I'm going to use the flares as my... Uh, Is there a way in there? My flares is a run. Nope, we're trying to get to train depot. And I went the completely wrong direction. It's probably later on in the story. I just went along a path. Be really nice would be a flare gun. Or some more ammo. Ammo's always nice. We're doing this under the light, buddy. Didn't want to have to use that. The darkness controls the taken. Shotgun ammo, shotgun. Okay, flashbang. Nope.
Run! Oh! It's getting it's getting more difficult now, folks. Run out and use the flashbang. Got my flare ready. Flare! Come on, flare! So close. Okay. All right. If I can keep that light on, I think I should. This is a big thing. I think I should be good. Drop that. Turn this on. Flashbang. Batteries! I thought I saw more writing. Light? You, in light, you can hurt them. Okay. I'm out of flashbangs. I'm out of flares. I'm going to rely on my flashlight now and skill. So we're probably going to die a few more times, folks. Then another manuscript page? Yeah. Yeah, it's on the retail of this episode. Alright, revolver ammo, shotgun ammo, batteries. Batteries. Hello? Alice, Alice, Alan, Alan, I'm so afraid. She keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. Something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, Alice, Alan, Alan, I'm so afraid. She keeps me in
Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go down. You need to be careful. Cooperate. <laughs> the connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. She did sound wrong. Everything is wrong here. I feel like we're going to get more of these baddies coming up in a minute. The sneaky ones. As folks who follow my channel know, I do just explore. For story elements, and there might be... Oh, nice. Ammo. Ammo. Alright, maxed out on that ammo. Could be... Flares. Flare gun ammo. Oh! I didn't realize it switched over to that! Thank you. And keep moving. Exploring sometimes helps. Don't know about that weird breathing in my ear, though. I can see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Where are you seeing the... Oh, the railroad bridge. It's over here. I used to live down from one of uh, those kind of bridges. Always love going to just check it out. Crossing it was a bit of a... Interesting... Thing, because uh, it wasn't used anymore. Where do you want me to go? I uh, only go. In, you don't mean to go in one in the water. Ladder. Oh, that breathing. Everything in its Whoa! I didn't even have time to react to that. At all. 
This darkness must really want me to not succeed. I have to keep my eyes out. Go slower, not faster. Everything in its path. I don't know if I like this dodge game. Okay, so I have to use my flashlight to stop it from murder efficating me. Flares. We're gonna we're gonna load some flares up. See if that helps us any. This way. Go this way. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path. Let me go this way. Move, move, move! I'm confused by this darkness. Either it wants us to finish the manuscript or it doesn't. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Hold down B to switch to heavy duty flashlight. Heavy duty flashlight. I like the sound of that.
Okay. Now, I'm going to search around here a bit. See if we can find any more pages to read off at the end of this episode. Nope, there was a flare. Seriously, darkness. What? Darkness setting traps now. In the light, you can hurt them. Yes. I know this. Open the gate! Oh, come on! I was right there, game! Alright. So, our move this time is just gonna be... Drop Flare... Run to gate after flogging these mooks. No, open the gate. Oh, okay, that did not work.
feel like I gotta lead the possessed uh, truck down a bit. So, next thing we do, take that guy out. <laughs> that possessed truck confused me, I will be honest. I was not expecting that. Okay. So I reached a moment of revolver ammo. And of... Batteries. But... Flares? I haven't. We want the flares. Those guys roughed me up. is where I think we're going to end this episode. Folks, we're not going to jump in that truck just quite yet. Since we just hit an autosave, we are going to go through the manuscripts. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Danny had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it, first with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget but he knew he had to try. And that is where we're going to call this episode of Alan Wake, folks. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. This has been your terrifying host for terrifying thursdays callan hale if you're enjoying this please tune in tomorrow for a brand new episode of robocop mentioned that we're gonna be um
kind of a Friday, Saturday deal, but now they're going to be every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Any questions, comments, concerns, drop those down below. And as always, make sure to hydrate, medicate if you have to, eat some good food, be kind to yourselves, and be kind to each other. And don't let your dreams just be dreams. Don't let them turn to nightmares like Alan's did. Make those dreams a reality. I believe in you, and I know others do as well. Until the next episode of Alan Wake, folks, this is your host, Kevin Hale, signing off.